ever since I went to the square and saw Alpha for the first time, even without even seeing him before, I just had the innate feeling that we were meant to be friends. I don't think I've ever had that feeling with anyone before him. In fact, I don't really remember anything before we met. I just hazily remember waking up in one of the maps that was probably inked in Recon and being escorted back to the square. I like being with Alpha a lot, but I want to know where did I come from? Where did he come from? I don't think I've been doing anything weird since I've been in Nicopolis. Unless it happened before I got to the surface. Didn't Tartar say something about the primordial ooze that was meant to be used to create the ultimate life form or something like that? So maybe with as much exposure as I had to it, I must have inherited some of its weird quirks, like being able to create life with a key motive. Billy was designed to be the most wholesome version of me, and that's exactly what he'll be. He'll be the nicest soul ever conceived, but in exchange for that, should he be consumed by emotions like hate or betrayal, even temporarily- <laughs> Hey, what are you thinking about? I was just thinking about Mr. Grizz. I really hope he isn't actually bad. I, I don't know what I'd do if he was. Okay, got it. Well, now we can finally get everything cleared up, so we'll have all of our answers. I think it's pretty clear that we have to get into that rocket somehow. Are you ready to try this? Let's see it. Let's see what this possibly creates. Aye, right, Gramps has to be up there somewhere. But there's too much fuzzy ooze in the way, dude. That looks luxurious. What the heck? I just know this will be useful somehow if we could combine it all. It's totally worth a shot. Let's do it. What the heck are they doing? I was not aware of the fact that the Squid Sisters are freaking Engineers, Marie, why don't you work at NASA? What? What is this? Dude, I am not aware of the fact that freaking Captain 3 is an anime protagonist. What is this? Okay. When I was like looking at those three parts, I'm like, how the heck is this gonna work? I didn't expect just to create a giant freaking makeshift weed whacker. Oh god, the three little troublemakers. Giving up is for the weak. Do we look weak? Well, you were in your boss fight. Sorry. Oh, that thing? Yeah, we're done with it. It's all yours. <laughs> Maria's just, nope. Like, yeah, we don't need this hunk of junk anymore. Done with it. Done. With treasure? What's wrong with you? Wait, why am I fighting this? Wow, thanks. Seriously, such a boss move. Why don't you be our boss? Oh, I'm going to have to approve their time cards, aren't that, aren't I? God, Marie's got everything planned out. <laughs> They've been employees for her than less than two minutes. Okay, so we just have to get up to the rocket. All right, that's doable, that's doable. I'm glad that you don't mind doing the heights anymore, Billy. Well, after exploring alternate with you, I've kind of gotten over my fear of heights. Look at you. I'm glad that you've gotten over your fear of heights. That's very good to hear. Or at least you've grown to time tolerated with all the stuff I put you through. All weaponry is strictly prohibited beyond this point. Pets and our sidekicks are allowed. Uh, thanks? Okay, so we just need little Buddy for this. We just need little Bobby. Can you at least call him the right name once? It's Bartholomew. Fine. Okay, we just need little Bartholomew with us. Are you happy? Thank you! Finally! Good. Okay, jeez, you're gonna give- you're gonna make little Buddy throw up. Alright, go. <laughs> well, they took everything. All of your hero gear. Oof, I mean, we didn't exactly surprise them, did we? We just charged right in. Hey, hey! I see your gear. You should be able to get it back if you make it through this. Yes, go back to the middle. Yes, yes! You absolutely idiots okay never mind I think I'll just go actually just walk toward us there we go seal your own doom perfect <laughs> oh, hello there does he come all the way out oh no he doesn't can you stop him from spreading ink oh what is he even doing are you just gnawing at his alloys or something little buddy is being so useful dude little buddy is having the freaking time of his life right now do you need help just do a double floop into I don't even know how to read that. All right, sure. <laughs> even Marie doesn't know. This is why I love this woman. We're just on the same wavelength most of the time. Before you get hurt, Bartholomew, go on top. There we go. Beautiful timing, Billy. Beautiful timing. It would be so funny if we freaking walked through that glass pane and then we just had to do all of that over again. It wouldn't be the first time we mistake something we could go through with glass panes. <laughs> You're right. We've had some very dumb, dumb moments throughout this campaign. <laughs> Gosh, these guys are traps galore right now. Yet yeah, none of them can just fight a baby salmon. The moment they fight an infant salmon, they're like, oh god, get me out of here. I wasn't trained for this. <gasps> nice, we have our weapon back. Okay, good, good. Now that we got our weapon back, we can freaking do anything now. I simply require a representative of Earth, like you. Don't you see? You're going to help me. Help you? Somebody help me! Never fear. You'll be free soon. No, we gotta make sure he leaves Captain Cuttlefish alone. Ugh! God. Alfred, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you fine? I 
don't know. Mr. Grizz isn't gonna do anything bad to Cuttlefish, right? I honestly don't know, dude. I don't know. For now, let's just go to the next area and see what happens. All wrapped, closed, while launch sequence initiates. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. You're locked off and you're never escaping this hangar. But have a nice day in here while you're at it. Dang, the wave breaker putting in some uses for real. Yeah, just let it do its thing, Billy. Okay, now you can finish them off. Don't you like that little wave breaker? What did the wave breaker even do to them? So basically in that instance, it not only locates them, but it can also help kill them that much faster too. It's a very useful thing. Okay, you already know what this is. I don't even need to tell you. I don't even need to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead and move toward that reef slider there. Wait, where are you going? You know how I like to collect every power egg. Okay, fine. No power egg left behind. Our little secret code. Dang, the Squid Sisters are really singing their hearts out. I'll give them that. <laughs> We're casually invading like the Splatoon version of NASA. And then these guys are just like, bow, 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 bow. what do we have to fight here? You. Okay, nice. Just like most snipers online, he has no clue how to take care of the top of the crab tank. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting very close. I don't know how many faces we have here, but we seem to be slowly inching our way to the rocket. A CEO, I must be the one to restore balance to nature. For now, I will let the fuzzy ooze spread. And once the golden eggs pile up, my employees have been extremely diligent. Wait, the golden eggs that we've been using this whole time? Ah! So, those... Eggs that we've been collecting for him. I think this might have been what Mr. Grizz was talking about, but the world's not out of balance, and if he thinks so, we're gonna need to stop him. But he's been our ally, and- Listen, kid, I know that, but not everyone can always be on the same page at all times, as you can probably see through the journey we've been through so far. All right, let's keep moving. I'll turn a space center lift. All right, we're getting closer. Can we turn on a light or something? We'll have to rely on other senses, like sharks do. We get it, Shiver, you're into sharks. <laughs> Shiver can't go like three lines without being like, hey, did you know I like sharks? I enjoy sharks. It's shark week, everyone. Yeah, we cannot be moving any slower, dude. I'd sooner just take my chances falling. I could move faster if I did that. Come on, you know how old the place is. Yeah, yeah, it's an old place. It's an old place. <laughs> you were like, I was talking. Ah, leave us alone. Yeah, there's no way you could probably... Well, actually, there could be a way. Oh, are you figuring it out too? I think that's the last guy, but that's one less guy that we need to get rid of. Yeah, he's just standing at the back. All right, yeah, he's chilling, he's chilling. Please stay safe, kids, stay safe. These guys are making things difficult. I know, kid, just get, where, get rid of what you need to. Get rid of what you need to. Awesome. Wow, you're really just gonna let him stay there. There's no reason to hurt any more than I must. Yeah, that's valid, that's valid. You will have to stay hidden for the rest of this route, though. Just deal with the sniper, then go. Deal with the sniper, then go. There we go, perfect, perfect. <gasps> Awesome. Hey, I can see a pipe that's connected to the rocket. Good eye, Fry. The pipe is definitely big enough for Agent 3 to fit through. What could go wrong? Hey, so this has been bugging me. Why are you after the treasure anyway? Just because treasure? We're doing it for Splatsville. Not everyone there is as fresh as we are. Some of them are really hurting. We plan to sell the treasure and divide the profits among the needy. We'll keep a shallow cut. Oh my gosh. So they weren't even bad after all. You're right. So some people do really have some good intentions behind them. You're really right. The Spirit Lifter. Steerage. Hey, hey, we'll be room for you. Safely from the ground far, far below. I love how Big Man's just real with it. He's chill, but he will definitely stay. He, he's chill and out of the action. Oh, look out, Bailey. Look out. Be very careful. I don't want you getting hit by the fuzzy ooze, too. I don't need you joining these guys. <gasps> Please, for the love of God, be careful when you grip this stuff, kid. Don't worry about me. And plus, I've taken bigger jumps before. True, true. Jeez, dude, how many bowling balls do these guys freaking have? Jeez. These guys, I feel like an Octarian's favorite pastime is just bowling, dude. They manufacture too many of these things for them to not bowl. The Spirit Lifter, first class. Rude, it shut us out. Hold on, look at those floating energy cores. Hey, hey, and that's a switch. Look at me, I'm helping. <laughs> God. Big Man is such a representation of my chat, dude. They just point out the most obvious and be like, look at me, I'm kind of the MVP. Okay, so these things aren't as solid as they were in the Octo expansion. The Octo expansion? Oh, that was something that I had to go through. You're not used to that. That's where, actually where I ended up coming from. <laughs> oh, this will make things a lot easier. Okay. Oh, we have an infinite version. I thought it was just for a temporary measure. Energy systems activated, releasing bulkhead number one. There's still another bulkhead, more energy cores. Get after him, Agent 3. You gotta be super careful around these dudes. Be super careful. I love the way you've been developing, though, with this freaking zip 
podcaster, Billy. Practice makes perfect, and I'm a lot less shaky now, too. You're right, you're right. You've, you've really developed, and look how far you've climbed up, too. Jeez, man. Gosh, it's crazy seeing how you maneuvered past all this fuzzy ooze, dude. This would be enough to freaking make me sick, but at least we got a second layer cleared. I think that's the way out. I bet it opens the same way as the bulkheads. Keep cool, you're almost there. It's so cool seeing two of the bands come together like this. All we need is Pearl Marine, and we have the whole band. No pun intended. <laughs> dude, this would be enough to make my stomach jiggle, dude. This will be enough to make my stomach jiggle and drop and everything. <laughs> Okay, are we up to the rocket? We're getting there, we're getting there. Your brain, in cons, though it may be in your hideous form, contains the beautiful essence I need. Leave my brain out of this. Hey, what's that for? Get away from me! Ah! What is he doing? <laughs> is Cuttlefish okay? I don't think he's going to. No, he's fine. He's fine. Obviously, he's still capable of speech, so we have a little bit of time to free him. We have a little bit of time to free him. Uh, Alf, I don't think I can- Don't talk like that. Don't give up, all right? Keep going, keep going. We've made it this far without giving up, all right? <gasps> what? Gramps, no! What happened to him? What the heck? The Earth sign anomaly number three, Mr. Grizz! <laughs> hey, you overgrown furball! Turn Gramps back into Gramps! And God, poor Agent 3, like, I'm too old for this. My hip is sprained, dude. I'm glad that Billy has worked up his fear of heights because we're going to the greatest height of all! Leaving the planet! <laughs> He's so static with it, though. As per my memo, I'll be coding the planet in fuzzy ooze in an effort to restore balance. Don't call it Harem again. HR doesn't like it. Through all of this, he's still- he's still joking like a typical CEO would. He's- he's all dried up. But how? One tear? One tear is all he needs, huh? This guy never dies. He actually never dies. That's pro he's probably the only thing more immortal than little buddy. Sounds like you folks need some help. And Deep Cut is here to steal the spotlight. Swirl it up, eels. Is this like a train of them like we saw in the first boss fight? Your turn, Master Mega. How did he get up here? Hey, here. Okay, Big Man's makes the most sense, all right? He just handed me a pair of headphones. There we go, Billy. Let's go! Well, well, such dedication to your work. I think you've earned yourself a break. Now come here so I can break you. What is he doing? What is he? And these are like the little golden eggs that we had from before. So, all the golden eggs we stole were for this? Yeah, all of this has gone to this. Okay, we need to keep moving, we need to keep moving. No time to rebuttal, just keep moving, Billy. And to think, I trusted you. Oh, we have to hit these little weak spots, okay. I think? I don't even know what happened there. Just, I think that does a little bit. That feels like it did absolutely nothing. We just slightly messed up his fur. That felt like it did little to nothing. Run with the rotation, Billy, run with the rotation. I believe in you, I believe in you. Come on, this is not the time to give up. Keep going, keep going. You got this, nice. We're gonna need to get rid of those two, though. Nice. Now just throw a little buddy. We have just enough. It's as funny as it is terrifying. Seeing how just static, how apathetic he is to all of this. We're approaching the end of the rocket, Billy. I believe in you. Let's do this. All like the beats from the previous areas. They're all coming together at this moment in time. Oh gosh. Billy, I don't know if you'll be able to get out of this. I don't know if you'll be able to go through all of them. I can't do much about Mr. Grizz, but I'm not gonna try and harm those guys too. All right. Keep going, I believe in you. Nice work, nice work. No, with not without a single enemy kill, need I mention. Nice, nice. Oh, killer whale, it's been a while since I've seen that, jeez. Wait, that's, that's, that's a flaw. You can't hear anything in space, that's a flaw right there, dude. Break it, break it, go, throw it! Is that it? What? Billy, are you, oh no, he's being flung out into space? I can't do anything to help him here. Oh, please be safe. <gasps> DJ Octavio! I thought he was taken by the fuzzy ooze. So now's finally the time when the Octarians and Inklings come together. One more time for the books. Look, marine life energy is flowing up there. As it was foretold, what? Little Bartholomew! You've evolved, I see! They're so adorable. I don't know if you call that adorable, Callie. The bear is filled with fuzzy ooze. Eliminate the fuzz balls, okay? He's trying to deliver the fuzzy ooze himself. You got to stop him. After all the times that DJ Octavio has been the antagonist with his little mechs and everything, now we control him. Okay, are we doing this right? So we just got what, suck the balls off of him? Okay. Okay, I- Ooh. Am I supposed to suck these up too? Oh, I see. So Billy, just use the ink back on his body. Okay, that's another section. Only two more left to go. Come on, we're so there. We're so there. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Then after that, we just need one more. And we have about one more minute to do it. Bartholomew 
are you okay? I Billy, can... Billy. He'll be fine, alright? This is what he- I feel- I have a good feeling this is what the guy was meant to be. Okay, is that it? We got all the fuzzballs, now what? He's still on the move! I'll tell you what, we fire that fuzz right back! We're out of time! No, we got this, we got this! We can do this! The times have changed, the world can never be as it was, moving forward is the future. I suppose this is it then. I will not receive severance pay. One last little business pun as he goes to the great beyond. And now we have our little, now little Bartholomew's back. Dang, I did not expect us to go to freaking space. Well, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. We were in a space center for like the entire campaign, but that is crazy, dude. Just like that. I believe that is it, right? Yep, the credits are rolling and everything, so... <laughs> I think we are probably the last set of people in the world to end up beating this campaign, at least the people who got it on release day. But it was still good nonetheless. And thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end regardless. I know, like I said, it's taken me three months to beat this campaign, but all of you who've stuck around from beginning to end, I really appreciate you. And let me just say, like, all of this was completely improv, by the way, too. Like, I, we didn't research anything, we didn't plan anything, everything was completely we went in completely blind, as you probably could have seen. <laughs> but I'm glad to have been able to experience this awesome game with you, from Deep Cut, to the Squid Sisters, to Mr. Grizz and everything, and most importantly, Billy! Actually, speaking of which, where is Bill? Ah! <sighs> I see that fight had quite the impact on you. Yeah, someone we've been working under for years turned out to want us all dead. We ended up stealing millions of golden eggs from poor Salmonid, hurting so many of them in the process under the guise that it would create a better future. Not only that, but in turn that harmed tons of Octarians too. We don't even know if they'll regain their senses either. They may be left to wander like that for all of time. All that time I wanted to avoid them. Should I have just put them out of their misery? Would that have been a better fate? Am I even any different than Mr. Grizz? I killed with the hopes of preserving our version of the world. Are, are you manipulating me too? Is that why you made me go down here? I feel so betrayed. I don't know who to trust anymore. I see. Well, I can at least say that you two are not the same. Mr. Grizz wished to rebuild a world that no longer exists and was left in ruins. You, on the other hand, care about the present and the future. Friend or foe, you've made it your goal to help as many as you can and move forward with them. Plus, you didn't have to exploit anyone to do it either. At the end of the day, just keep fighting for what you believe in and keep trying to help others too. Like Deep Cut, who will be able to help the citizens of the Splatlands now. If you do end up doing that, then I can at least guarantee that you'll have the least regrets. And and certainly not everyone in this world is malicious like Mr. Grizz, so you'll find some more actual allies doing that too, my friend. Okay, let's get all this off your mind. You want to finally go up to the surface? There's a Splatfest going on right now. Sure, I, I think I might need that. Okay, gotcha. Well, let's go ahead and head back then. Wow, this place looks so cool at night. Everyone looks so much more lively here than they ever did back in Ingopolis. Heck yeah, they do. Now wait there, your big bro will be right back. Hello, can I please get one of these hats? Thank you so much. I'm going to get so much use out of this. Yep, yep. Well, uh, anyway, I'll see you soon. This looks absolutely awesome, yeah. Hello, Mr. Coco. Mind if I take these orange arrows off your hands? He, I mean, I'll fit great in this. Sorry, right now I'm a bit loco. Okay, I'm back. Since you aren't in the system just yet, I'll smuggle you in under my name. I hope you're fine with fighting for Team Water, though. Now hurry and pick out some of the clothes that I have. Okay, well, I really like this hat. It looks awesome. As for the shoes, let's have these match the color of my hat. If I could have, I definitely would have chose that for my clothes. Okay, Alpha, I'm ready. But you didn't even... <clears throat> All good? Awesome, let's get you queued in for a match then. Show them what you got, kid. I'm in your corner. Let's go.
Oh, look, he's on your team. Let me get a picture of the two of you. All right, boys, stay in front of the camera. Say Bartholomew. All right, do you feel better now? Yeah, a little, thanks. Anytime, bro, let's go. We have another friend coming soon. Let's not keep him waiting.